Could the stroke of a brush inspire a stroke of luck at the friendly confines? Local artist Russell Mewitz sure hopes so. Last year we came down, painted, painted a few of these, and it seemed to bring the Cubs some good luck. Figured we need a win, so get out here and do it. Russell's been painting the town red, white, and blue for 10 years. Leave the ink for the day, it washes off eventually, but kind of brightens the streets. And, and he's spreading his art on something Cubs fans walk over every day, sewer caps. The, the designs kind of withstand the test of time, and it's a way to, you know, kind of preserve it. Russell's home and heart is in Chicago, but his unconventional street art spreads beyond the Windy City. Hit up about 70 cities, uh, 400 different prints, and um, just kind of on this mission to, to make art from overlooked pieces of metal. The art so eye-popping, even the Cubs organization has noticed. I had just pulled it up, and here comes Ricketts. I had a Sharpie. He looked at it, signed it, said, hey, man, it's pretty cool. And uh, so I guess I got the seal of approval to be out here painting his logo on the street. <laughs> hey, Chicago, what do you say? Some sick street art. Maybe the Cubs will win today. Unless, you know, we get two wins, I might have to fly out to L.A. and paint one out there, right? <laughs> In Wrigleyville, Brandon Pope, The Jam.